It was one of the most high profile court cases in our state's history, but one family behind it has kept a decidedly low profile until now. It was known as the McCleary case, a lawsuit demanding the state of Washington fully fund public education. Well, the case officially closed yesterday after 11 long years, and today, a family you've probably never heard of is celebrating. In their first televised interview, King 5's Eric Wilkinson introduces us to the other McCleary family. Oh, I was furious. <laughs> Patty Venema has always been a passionate parent, very involved in her kids' educations. Back in 2007, Haley and Robbie were in the sixth and ninth grades, and Patty was sick of what she was seeing in their classrooms. And there was 35 kids in the classroom, and they were short probably seven or eight textbooks, and she struggled in math, and I called the assistant superintendent, and I said, this is not right. I go, you know, they're Classes are not only overcrowded, but they don't have enough textbooks for the kids that are in the classes. At that time, a family named McCleary was preparing to sue the state of Washington and force it to fully fund public education. A Snohomish school official asked Patty if she'd be willing to be part of the suit as well. The answer was elementary. The last time the state had been sued, I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And 30 years later, there's still not funding education properly. The case carried on for 11 years, finally coming to a close yesterday when the Washington Supreme Court lifted tens of millions of dollars in fines on the state and proclaimed it was finally meeting its funding obligations. But Patty isn't convinced the issue is um, over. I'm sure that at some point, if the state ends up running into some financial trouble, they're gonna start pulling money from education again. So it will probably always be a battle that somebody will need to fight. But not Patty. She's fought this fight, but she has others waiting to take it on again if need be. I I mean, it could be my kids. I mean, you know, they, they learned a lot in this process. Haley and Robbie are now 26 and 23. Patty can't help but think of what kind of education awaits their kids, hoping this family doesn't have to face another fight for their futures. I hope for my grandchildren that we fully fund education and that we take education as importantly as we should. In Snohomish, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Governor Jay Inslee has released a statement about these developments. He says in part, this is not the end of our efforts to ensure schools are able to provide students everything they need to succeed and thrive. There is more to come as we focus on early education, career connected learning, special education, and additional support for struggling or at risk students.